Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a a quick uh, tutorial here. Show you how you can find these. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna see if I can make that page just a tad bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay, so I've got Chrome up here. Remember that's what I'm using. I'm using Chrome. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Louisville.edu/library. Okay, and that's gonna take me right to my database page. Here I'm at the databases. Click on the database. Okay, it has all this stuff here, but what I really care about is over here on the right where it says looking for, go down to where it says New York Times, New York Times Research Guide. Okay, it's over here on this side. Click on that. That will give me the New York Times Research Guide. It has five different things here. Best bets, additional databases, indexes, current issues, but historical issues is the only one I really care about. I go to ProQuest Historical Newspapers, New York Times. I click on that. That will give me this uh, database. This will, that'll give me this interface right here. So I'm going to type in here, which I've already done to make it easier. I'm going to type in Panama Massacre. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here to the publication date. I'm going to specify a particular range. I'm going to start on April. I just click on this and I, we go to April 15th and I type in 1856. And I'm going to end January 1st, 1860. Okay, then I come down here and I click on the document type I want, which is going to be an article. Yours will be like that. It'll look like that. You're going to just click on article. Okay, so now I've clicked on article. I've given my date range. Now I'm going to come over here and click on the search button. And it's going to give me 65 results. Okay, let's just take a look at this very first one. I click on this. And it's going to say the Panama Massacre, Mr. Corwin's report. Okay. And you can see the date on it is April, I mean, I'm sorry, September 1856. That's right in this, you know, right after what I want because I know what happened in April 1856. Notice that it says I have to, on, on Chrome, you're going to have to click open and it's going to ask you where you want to save it. Okay. So let's just say I call it um, Corwin report. Okay. And I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can find it. I'm going to hit save. Now it's saved on my desktop. Okay. And then I go to my desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that document. And there it is. I clicked it on it. And now it's, there's the document, Mr. Corwin's report. We published this morning. Of blah, blah, blah. I can read the whole thing. But there you see. Now what you do now is I've got it on my desktop. Now I just go to Blackboard and I upload it. I think you were having trouble just finding the articles. There's how you do it. That was a short, I gave you a shortcut way of doing it. So just try that and see what happens.